Hello everyone, it's GSSC Maths here, and today we're going to be looking at Pythagoras' Theorem, which is a C grade topic in higher and foundation tier uh, mathematics. So let's get started. Right, Pythagoras' Theorem is a way to find out a missing side or a third side in right angled triangles. Now this only works in right angled triangles, and you'll see there's other forms of trigonometry that you can use to find the missing signs or angles in other forms of triangles that don't have a right angle in it. But that's for another day. Today we're looking at the basic formula of Pythagoras, which is the world famous a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now this is a very important formula, so I'd write this down if I were you. And now we're going to have a look at what this formula actually does in terms of the right angle triangle. So here I'm going to draw a right angle triangle. And here is the right angle, marked there. Now before we start with finding out what the theorem is, we're going to label each of the sides. So we're going to li label this side here A, this side B, and this side C. Right, so now these are each of the labels, so we know that A squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're just going to leave that formula up there just for the minute. Now we're going to have to find out the missing side. So in the exam you're going to be given the measurements of each of the sides. So we're going to say that a is let's say 10 centimeters long and b is about 8 centimeters. Now the exam will say given the size that you already have find out um, what is what how long is length C. So now that we have this we're going to find out what it is. So we know that the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what we do we substitute in our values for a and b in order to get c. So what we do is 10 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. So we have 10 squared is 10 times 10, so that's 100. And 8 squared is 8 times 8, so that's 64. So 100 plus 64 equals c squared. So now we have c squared, and you may be thinking, what do we do now? But it's very simple. All we do is find the square root. So this is a calculator topic, so get out your calculator and find the square root for 164 and that should give you about 12.80 to a certain degree of accuracy. Um, they will always ask you what your degree of accuracy will be in the exam but in this case we're going to leave it as 12.8 just for um, to make it simple really. So now what you might have picked up from this is that length A is generally the second biggest, followed by length B, which is the smallest. But the biggest is always length C because this right here, this side is called the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the biggest side in a triangle. And this will always be present in trigonometry when we look at the sine, cosine and tan rule. But that is for another day. Right, so now we've done one example, we should try another. So I'll draw another right angle here, right angle triangle. And this time we'll call side A, B, C. Actually, you know what, this time we will try and find out what side B is. I'm going to give you side C and side A. A will be 4 centimeters. C will be, let's say, whoops, 10 centimetres, and you have to find out what side B is, which we don't know. So to begin with, we write down our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But now that we have the answer for what C is, we have to find out what B is. So we have to rearrange the formula. And what this means, we have to change it to make C squared minus A squared equals B squared. And now, this is very simple. If you can see what I've done here, all I've done is taken C onto the other end and swapped it for B. That way, C minus A should equal B, as it always does. Right, 
So now we have what we need to find our b. So as always, we substitute our values in. So we do c squared, which is 10 squared minus 4 squared equals b squared. So now again, what we do is 10 squared is 100. 4 squared is 4 times 4, so 16 equals b squared. So we do the square root of 116 using the calculator and that gives you b squared sorry b which is 10.8 so on the on wherever it is you always leave it as 10.8 and always 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 circle it in whatever color you have so you can remember it's right the figures in so you make sure you get the question right so thank you for listening guys that is Pythagoras' theorem in a nutshell. Quite simple, really. It's a C grade topic. So, from here, we're going to be moving on to find out how you can use Pythagoras to find the distance between points on a graph, which is a lot simpler than it sounds. It's, in fact, very easy. And from there, all we have to do is move on to trigonometry in this section. So, thank you for listening and watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. And check on this channel to see if any of your other GCSE topics are here. Because the likelihood is that they will be, seeing as I'm going to be doing a lot of videos for a broad range of subjects. Right, so thank you very much and I'll see you.